What's going on guys? Welcome back to Young and Cool. Today we're looking at the top 5 reality competition TV shows ever. And at number 5, Hell's Kitchen. Two minutes before the customs are sat. Yes, chef. It was a prep list, chef. I was just double checking the station, making sure it was set up, chef. The prep has gone. Hell's Kitchen is a reality competition series that is based on a British series by the same name. It started airing in 2005 and is hosted by celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. The series is unique because of the fact that most seasons divide the contestants up into two different teams and pit them against one another, which really amps up the drama and suspense of the series. The series has the two teams working as the crew in a restaurant kitchen. These contestants are competing for the job as the head of a restaurant, so the stakes are definitely high. Between the interesting premise and the fact that Gordon Ramsay is the host of the series, it's no surprise that this show was one of the most popular on IMDb. At number 4, RuPaul's Drag Race. No, you're the one that's upset. I'm not upset. Do I look upset too? RuPaul's Drag Race is a competition series that began airing back in 2009. The series is hosted by RuPaul and brings together talented drag performers from all over the country in order to compete with one another to be named the biggest drag superstar in the country. Contestants on the series compete in a number of different solo and group challenges throughout the course of the series and are eliminated one by one as the series goes on. At the end, one of them is finally chosen by the panel of judges and receives a prize of $100,000. At number three, the challenge. That I did that for First me. Of all, you're not gonna call me a bitch. We're not I gonna just do did. that. Shit. Okay, you're go. not gonna call hold me a bitch. Because right, I can turn that up. That as long as you're perfect. The Challenge is a reality TV series that has been airing on MTV since 1998. Considering this series has such a long history in the world of reality TV, it's easy to see how it's one of the most popular reality competition shows on IMDb. The series started out as a spin-off of two of MTV's popular reality shows, Road Rules and The Real World. The show would bring together past contestants from those two shows and would divide the contestants up onto teams, then have them compete in physical challenges against one another. Over the years, the show has expanded to feature new contestants and people that have appeared on other MTV shows. At number two, Survivor. These are both hidden immunity idols. Any votes cast for Ty or Aubrey will not count. Hey, Jeff. Survivor is a competition series that began airing back in 2000 and has been hosted by Jeff Probst since then. The series usually has a certain twist to keep it interesting, but always has the same basic premise. Contestants are divided up into teams and then taken to a remote island where they're forced to try to survive against the elements while forming bonds and alliances. They then take part in different mental and physical challenges and once a week vote to eliminate one contestant. Even though the series has aired dozens of seasons and has been on for nearly two decades, it remains one of the most popular reality competition shows on TV. Considering the high stakes and interesting twists, it's not hard to see why this show is still so popular among TV fans. And at number one, The Bachelor. Just refresh him, rejuvenate him. I don't know if he's ever skinny dipped with a model before. It could be fun. The Bachelor is a dating and relationship themed competition series that began to air in 2002 and has spawned multiple spin off series like The Bachelorette and The Bachelor in Paradise. So, it's definitely no surprise that this reality series is so popular. In the series, a single bachelor gets to meet a whole cast of women who are looking for love and believe that they're the perfect match for the single man of the season. He goes on dates and gets to know each of them throughout their time together and each week he chooses someone who he's just not feeling to send home. It's hard not to either fall for The Bachelor each season or find a contestant that you really love, which makes watching the show a ton of fun. Alright guys, well thank you for watching this video of Young and Cool. If you enjoyed, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you beautiful faces in the next video. Stay safe and have a great day.